I have represented victims of car accidents with semis and other big trucks for over 35 years. These accidents could have been avoided. Each week, I will share a tip on how to make the roadway safer. These involve steps that need to be taken by semi drivers, car drivers, as well as trucking companies. We were doing a deposition here recently, and in the deposition, a truck driver who rear-ended our client on I-70 and almost killed her, completely demolished her vehicle, knocked it underneath the semi that was in front of him, blamed the wreck on glare from the sun. Now, the driver was driving west on I-70 at sunset, and he thought that the glare caused him to not be able to see our client was slowing for traffic, and he rear-ended her. And I've been doing this for over 35 years, and I can't tell you how many times I've taken the deposition of a defendant, a person who caused the wreck, who blamed it on the glare of the sun. Ladies and gentlemen, that's not a valid excuse. Under the law, you have a duty to operate your vehicle in a reasonably safe manner. And driving into glare is not reasonably safe. Driving and operating a vehicle when you can't see what's in front of you is not reasonably safe. And if you rear in somebody because of the glare of a vehicle, you are responsible. So this month we're gonna talk about the glare, driving into the glare, and what truckers should do, what trucking companies should do, what drivers of cars should do, and also what we should teach our kids that are just starting out driving.